because I think this is the time of year where we have our predictions and this is where everyone is kind of making their predictions. So um, I'm going to ask, do the Canucks make the playoffs? Yes. And where do I'm they finish? To... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'll just add that. Where do they finish? I have them third. Uh, no, sorry, fourth in the uh, in the Pacific. Um, yeah, I have them fourth in the Pacific, behind the Oilers, Flames, and Kings. I think the Golden Knights fall off. I don't think they will ha- get the goaltending that they that they are wanting from Logan Thompson. And I think that blue line. Um, I don't think that blue line in 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 Vegas is going to be able to do enough to make up for the goaltending. So yeah, I've got uh, I've got the Canucks making the playoffs as a as a wild card team. Not to uh, I guess piggyback off of Sean, but I would agree as far as that placement. I I do say they they squeak in, and it is as a wild card. If, if Sean has them as like would would that be the first or second wild card spot that you would pencil them in at? I didn't go that deep. I just was looking. Okay, at fair my... enough. But yeah, definitely a wild card <laughs> spot. I was gonna say just maybe be the last team and squeak in with like two points. I it could be that because I think the the wild card is going to be one hell of a race in the West. Um, the because the way I look there's at a it, whole lot of middle teams that in the Central and Pacific that are all fighting for two spots. Yeah, you got guess, the Canucks, three spots. You yeah. got the Canucks and Golden Knights in, in the Pacific. I even I wouldn't be surprised if the Kings kind of fall into that depending on how good that um how much the their young players step up and whether you know, guys like the Alex can make a difference if the if the young players step up and that blue line is as good as, as good as we all kind of think it could be now which is a complete 180 from where I was at on the Kings with their blue line last preseason I will say that they that they proved me wrong on that one definitely outperformed yeah um, and then you've got, I think, and then you have the Preds, Stars, and Wild in the Central that I think are all going to be in the mix as well. Maybe the Jets. I I don't know what to expect from Winnipeg this year. Um, it feels like that locker room has a major divide has a major divide in it, reminiscent of. The Flames a couple of years ago, where you've got an aging captain and a younger, not 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 super young core, but a younger core that wants to take over, and it, I feel like there that might be an issue that will hold them back this year. But the X factor with the Jets is definitely whether Bones can basically get that team to gel as much as they need to, to be successful and, and play a proper defensive system. Cause if they can, then Hellebuck can drag them into the playoffs. Yeah. He's still got the skill despite his age, but I, 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 I honestly don't think that it, it's going it, to, it'll happen. I think this might be a two to three year project for bones. Um, but I look at the the predators. I don't think I, I look at that and I, I see multiple regression uh, uh, candidates on on the predators. Uh, Duchesne, Johansson, Tanner Janot, Jano, um, all I think are going to regress. Oh, I'm going to have to disagree. I'm, I will be disagreeing with you, but on that, but just uh, go ahead. With with, with, with Janot, right? No, with because Nashville. He drafted him. <laughs> no, with Nashville, I I I do not see a regression on that team at all. Oh, I I, I, I look at the like I am I somehow I am the statistical dude on this on this podcast, and I look you at know, that you don't really identify as that guy. You just happen to be the guy that leans most into it out of us. <laughs> I look at that, and they're they're Duchesne, both Duchesne and Johansson are both um, candidates for regression on that team. Yes, they've added Nino Niederreiter. Um, but I just, I, I just don't, I'm not sold on them. Um, but the stars are a bit of a, I don't know what to expect from the stars. Um, do we see a very slow start from Jason Robertson? I think that's expected. 
missing all of camp. Uh, what is Ottinger what we saw in the Flames in the Flames series, or is he more an average goaltender? I think he can be what he was in the Flames series, but I think he it's not going to be a as as quick a jump up to there as as many people are, are expecting. Um, and then the Wild, they lost Fiala. Who's stepping up? That's my question. Who's stepping up to create that that offense? Because there's also a, a, a massive, massive regression candidate on that team in, in Ryan Hartman. Like he scored more goals than his career high in points last year. Like that is someone who I, I expect to regress a lot. What now, about the uh, the Rossi kid? Is he Marco Rossi? Rossi? He's a, he's a rookie. Like it's gonna be. I yeah, but is he a goal yeah. scorer? Is more so what I was asking. He's. I think he's more of a playmaker, but I. I just don't. I'm not. I'm not so. And then they lost. Um, I. I'm also at. We're at the point with Marc Andre Fleury. Is he? Is he gonna Mike Smith it? Is he, it? Are are the hips gonna fall apart? That's my. That's my big question with the Wild. I know that a lot of people ha- are very high on them. I just look at that and I go. There's too many I'm questions. I'm not high on the Wild at all. So I look at the Preds, the Stars, and the Wild, along with the Canucks and Golden Knights, as being the five teams looking for two, for two to three spots. Yeah, it's going to be a, a battle between the the Central and the Pacific as far as who gets that extra third team. Yeah, for me, I have a color. Okay, so the I think the Oilers. I, I I have the Oilers winning the Pacific. I think that they will be the regular season champions. Uh, I think the Flames will. We'll talk about the Flames tomorrow, but I actually expect a very slow. I I would not be surprised if it's a slow start for the Flames, uh, to come off. Um, I think this is a team that will will get into that that will build. Um, I actually don't have the Kings in the playoffs. I have the Knights in the playoffs. And I have a I I have the Avs, Preds, Stars for sure in the playoffs. I think the Preds are going to be better than a lot of people think. I think the teams that I'm curious about, the one that we didn't talk about there, you didn't talk about it, Sean, was St. Louis. And I really wonder about what's going to happen there. You've got you've got you know, one of the storylines coming into Vancouver this year is Bo Horvat doesn't come in with a contract as the captain. Ryan O'Reilly didn't come in with a doesn't come in with a contract, and they signed Robis, Robert Thomas and Jordan Cairo to huge deals. You talk about a potential locker room explosion, and you've got a goaltender in Jordan Bennington that he can be good on one night, but on the other night, he may want to run out and fight a guy on a bench. You don't know yeah. what you're going to get from Jordan Bennington. The loss of Billy Huso, I think, is massive for St. Louis. I don't know where I'm at with St. Louis. That is the one team that I'm curious about. But I do have the Golden Knights in the playoffs. I think the Golden Knights will sneak in, but I don't have the Kings in. And I, I, unfortunately, right now with that blue line and the Canucks, I can't put them in right now. I think that they battle. I think they're in it to the last minute, but I don't think they get in, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. 